Hey, Lenny Gale, life is no yoke. Vitamix noise comparison, which is the least loud, which is the least noisy, which is the quietest? Let's answer that question really fast. There's a big difference between the least noisy and the most noisy Vitamix. Uh, the quietest Vitamix, well, first of all, no Vitamix machine is quiet. They're really powerful and they make a lot of noise. But the least noisy, the most quiet by far, are the Vitamix Pro 750 and the A3500. So the, the, the premium models, the ones that come with the true metal finish, we've found that those two to be the most quiet, uh, the least loud. So that's tier one of, of noise output. Tier two, so the ones that are a little more noisy, A25 and A2300, the 5200 Pro 500, the personal series to kind of fall in that second tier and the Venturous series, so the V1200. And then third tier, the most noisy, the most loud, the least quiet, Explorian, so E310, E320. Okay, I hope that helps get an idea of where they all stack up. But to understand how quiet or how much noisier they are, you have to talk about decibels and that's a very complex mathematical thing that I don't even totally understand, but here's what the easiest way to understand it is. An increase in 10 decibels is double the volume to our ears. So from 90 decibels to 100 decibels, that's gonna sound like it's twice as loud. Some examples, a quiet office is 50 to 60 decibels. 80 decibels, that's uh, city traffic if you're hearing horns and cars running. Between 85 and 90 decibels, that's like a lawnmower or a vacuum or um, maybe like a quieter motorcycle. But it starts to get really loud really fast, as you'll see. So if 90 decibels is, is a lawnmower, 98, 99, that's like your, your subway train or your loud motorcycle. And then really fast, uh, at about 100, 103, 105, that's a airplane, like a jet flying over your head really low. If you're in an urban area and you've heard a jackhammer, that's almost painfully loud. That's at about 110 decibels. They say 120, 120 decibels is really uncomfortable. So uh, uh, an ambulance siren, siren turned way up, that's around 120. And painfully loud is 130 decibels. So that's like a, a, a shotgun, like firing a gun. So if you sustained that level of, of volume of output of, of noise, you, you're gonna you're gonna have ear damage if it's if it's sustained. So what do they shake out? So tier one, the A3500, the Pro 750, those fall in around 88, 89, 90 decibels. Loud, like that's a loud thing. But the difference between that and tier two, which uh, usually shake out around 92, 93, 94, 95 decibels, uh, that's that's a big difference. 10 decibels is double the volume to our ears. Six decibels is 50% louder. And I think around four, four and a half decibels is like 40% louder. So if you go from 90 to, to 95, that's significantly louder. And forget the numbers, forget the measurements of decibels. Like you can really tell the difference. You can feel. If you turn on an A3500 or a Pro 750, they're equally quiet or equally not that noisy. You turn on one of those right next to a tier two or a tier three, you're gonna hear the difference, you're gonna feel it. It's significant. Now Vitamix doesn't make these claims. It doesn't say, yeah, these are the least quiet or these are the least noisy. And I'm not sure why anyone hasn't done a video like this kind of showing, but here's what I'll say. If you're concerned at all about noise, about the, the output of, of, of a Vitamix that you're gonna get, I would stay away from that tier three, so the Explorian series, until they, until there's sort of a reconfiguration or sort of a V2 of any of those. Those are pretty loud. If the noise doesn't bother you, some people are like, yeah, it's a blender, a blender's a blender. It's gonna be loud, that's great. What's nice is that the, the performance, the blend quality that you get from all the machines, no matter how loud they are, are the same. So you can save by having your machine be a little louder and still have the smoothies, the creamy, wonderful smoothies, uh, or ability to make nut butters, hot soup, ice cream. The, the capabilities are all the same between all of the machines, no matter how loud they are. And I should say this, we got a 
these earmuffs for our little guy and we put them on his head when we run the blender. He loves blending and we probably don't put them on as much as we should. I have a, a dad version of these uh, in one of our boxes and I need to get it out. I'll put a link to the, the earmuffs that I use for myself and for the baby in the link in the description. And you, you can't really go wrong by using these when you're blending, you're gonna protect your ears. It's like wearing sunglasses when you're outside, no matter how quiet of a, mach of a machine you get. So I guess a hack would be to get the least quiet, one of the most noisy, one of the sort of tier three and get a, get a set of these. Bottom line, if you want one of the quietest machines, a3500 or Pro 750 because of the true metal finish. And if you don't really care, grab another one. They're all they're all pretty loud. Their Vitamix machines are very powerful. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.